Hi boys and girls. I've received an email from Andrew in Westminster, but I've got a bit of a problem. You see, Andrew wrote, Hi Trudy, I'm more excited than I can tell you, what with the election and all. Now, knowing political correspondence as I do, and Andrew in particular, when he wrote election, I thought he meant erection. So I asked them to get me an expert on erections. Well, I've just got rid of the architect and now spending five minutes with me on my chaise long this week is... Hang on. You're Sir Peter Spencer from episode 89, The Night at Sky. Have you written a book on erections too? Uh, uh, Trudy, I think we have been through this before, you know. Well, I realise you have another book to plug, but Sir Peter, really... That, that is the problem, uh, Trudy. I had never been knighted, so I am not actually Sir Peter. All right, then. Let's get your book business out of the way. Yeah, well, very, very gladly. I mean, it's called Swamped, Westminster Sucks, and... Aha! Great. It's about what to do with an erection, is it? Uh, not exactly. No, 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 it is. To, it's actually to do with elections. Elections? I thought we were talking about erections. No, Trudy. I, I, if you had been paying attention these last few weeks, you would know that they often get these things a bit wrong. Hey, that's my line. I always say that. Yes, and I've never actually worked out who they are or what they do, but shows I've got an inquiring mind, Trudy. I know you like that. I do, Peter. You're right. But, uh, look, Sir Peter, uh, Peter... Weren't you here on my chaise long with me not three months ago talking about your first book? Hey, hey, you remember I'm very flattered about that. Oh, I, I wouldn't if they hadn't just whispered it to me. Um, but anyway, now you've written another book. Yes, I have indeed. It is called Swamped, Westminster Sucks and... Uh... Peter, uh, look, how do I put this to you? Two books in three months. Have you thought about getting a job? Well, uh, truly, I, I finish one book and then I start another and then I finish another. So what that means is that I actually write. That's what writers do, so it counts as a job to me. Peter, we're all very sorry they stripped you of your knighthood. Uh, but perhaps it's time to get back to the real world? Yeah, well, uh, should we talk about the election then? Erection? Uh, no, truly. E election. Similar sound, but actually a very, very different concept. But you see, it is coming up, you know. Oh, all right. We can talk about the stiffs at Westminster if you like. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the campaign to start. Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> I hate to tell you this, Trudy, but it actually already started about mm, four years ago. Peter, steady on. There's no need for cynicism. Well, uh, Maybe there isn't. <laughs> Maybe there isn't, but perhaps we'd better get on. We've only got five minutes, you know. No, that's my line. I always say that. Uh, yes, indeed, Trudy, really, indeed. So. Yeah, well, the thing is, the campaign is becoming tumescent. And I like all the parties so much, I can't decide who to vote for. Peter, are you still being cynical? No, my dear, most certainly not. I mean, look, they're a lovely bunch of folk. I mean, look at the Liberal Democrats for a start. I mean, you know... When they say something, they mean it, always. I mean, well, I say that, but there was that slight problem with uh, tuition fees and also a little local difficulty with austerity that they campaigned viscerally against it before the election and then they embraced it wholeheartedly when they got a sniff of their feet under the cabinet table. I read somewhere, a Heat magazine I think it was, that the Lib Dems are quite clear on their policy to put national security ahead of silly notions of individual liberties. Or was it the other way round? Well, truly, <laughs> you have to ask yourself which part of quis custodiet ipsos custodis do you not understand? All of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just means who pleases the police. The police, silly. Yes, 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 very good, very good. And who pleases them? Well, uh, the police. Are you a little confused, Peter? There's no shame in it, you know, not these days. So, you love the Lib Dems best. 
Well, I'm not sure that love is quite the word I'd use, but, I mean, it's also the Conservatives. I mean, they're another fine bunch of upstanding folk. I mean, apart from their unswerving mission to preserve the power and privilege of the top 1%, while the rest can take a swivel, they're brilliant. I, I mean, well, you know, I mean, they do have that poor William Hague, in fairness. Poor William Hague? Do they make fun of him? Yeah, but he takes on the cheek, you know. Oh, you've heard that too, have you? <laughs> so you don't like Labour then? My dear, Labour are equally brilliant as the Conservatives. I mean, who could fail to absolutely respect and revere their leader, Ed Miliband? I mean, anyone who suggests, for example, that the modern Labour Party is a pale shadow of its social democratic founders it's talking complete nonsense quite through their own look. So, you really love all three of them? Yeah, well, I think we've pretty safely established that love is not necessarily quite the right word, but I mean, we're living in, in different times and we'd have to consider the minor parties as well. Why? The BBC doesn't? Yeah, well, the thing is that this close to election we do have to be uh, politically balanced. I mean, there's the Greens, for example. Aha, like a balanced diet, you mean? Yes, you should always include plenty of greens. Yeah, yeah, and the you kip, uh-huh. That's right, you eat a big meal and then you kip. Yes, very good, Trudy. Do you know, the funny thing is, you used that same joke in episodes 12, 23, 44 and 67. Well, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, but we must get on. We've only got five minutes, you know. Yeah, OK, we'll keep it simple then. In a nutshell, UKIP might attract enough votes to deprive the Conservatives of an overall majority. That's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, except that. North of the border, the Scottish National Party have done complete wee-wees all over the Labour Party, and so it is perfectly possible that they will prevent Ed Miliband from getting an overall majority as well. Aha, the fish party. The fish party, yeah, yeah. You know, salmon and sturgeon, that lot. So what are you telling me, Peter? What I'm telling you, Trudy, is that the Liberal Democrats will probably lose most of their seats, but still have far more than UKIP, even though they'll get them with a far smaller proportion of the popular vote. So would it be fairer to have proportional representation? Well, it's funny you should say that. The Liberal Democrats used to be absolutely up for that, but... Uh, I'm not quite sure they would be now. So where does that leave us, Peter? My word, you're good. I can't understand what the Queen's got against you. But tell us about your book. OK, the book is called Swamped Westminster Sucks, and it tells the story of a Prime Minister, his rise and his fall. The whole process only takes a year because everything cocks up so utterly and totally and spectacularly. The book itself is funny, it's irreverent, it's sardonic, and in my judgment it is tells a truthful story. Well, we're out of time, but I think we've all learned something today, especially you, Peter, if you're that keen on the knighthood. Better cosy up to a member of the royal family. And talking of Jeffrey Epstein, see you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light. If you've been affected by any of the issues in this programme, Make sure you go out and vote on May the 7th. Hope the rest of you enjoyed this week's show. Leave a comment down below. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>